tonight. It's Madden NFL Football. Super Bowl 56. champion Buffalo Bills taking on the champions from the NFC the Minnesota Vikings and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. him up five first and 15. They'll set up a throw. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. Touchdown Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 64 yards, and the Vikings have taken a first quarter lead. When we draw up defenses on the board, we do account for every receiver. But on that particular play, somehow he was wide open, became an easy touchdown pass. We drop you in now to first quarter action as the offense begins this drive. They'll run on first down. It's Cook. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Second and one. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They tried the throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now Cook, and he's got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. Give him two yards on that play, and it'll move the chains. Back to throw now on first down. Complete Jefferson the target. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A well-executed 22-yard game. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole and make the catch. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. It's a pickup of six. 
Brings up second and four. Now a run will come. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. They also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Dalvin Cook is running back, the intended target, but it'll be second down. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. This offense will get another shot at it as he'll quickly head back onto the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. To the right side and complete to Jefferson. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Six yard pickup brings up second and four. On second down, Cook. And he'll be close to a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 39. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Jackson with a completion over the middle. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. After one, a 14 to 3 ball game. Into the first quarter with the score Vikings 14, Bills 3. On first down, he'll drop to throw. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Delvin Cook there to make the grab. And the Vikings are going to widen that advantage. So three drives, three touchdowns, and they're a PAT from going up. This offense gets ready to take over the football, first and ten. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he's brought down, getting up to the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fool them with the inside run. Well, going for Jefferson downfield. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier. Trying to keep him in the rhythm. Here's second and ten now from the 35. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. 15 yards on the play, first down. They ran that one well, and not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Brings up second. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. Minnesota Vikings. 
also damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. On play action, they'll throw. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And too much juice. He'll be out of bounds incomplete. He was trying to find Justin Jefferson there. And now it's second down. It leads to second and ten. Looked like the screen pass was taken away there, and that was a nice job of improvising, but it's not normal. Usually when the screen pass is taken away, you're taught to just throw the ball to the ground at the feet of the receiver so that you don't get it intercepted and just start over. But he ended up finding another receiver. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get it in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Delvin Cook, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Vikings find a way to stretch their lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. After a good punt, this offense will start with tough field position inside the 10. They'll look to throw here on first down. Oh, and it's incomplete. Johnson, the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Incomplete. For Davius White on the coverage. On the carry, it's Cook. Oh, and now some space to operate. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. Pass the 20. Touchdown of this Super Bowl. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. First down, here's the run with Cook. And nothing but daylight ahead. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. Dalvin Cook with a record fourth Super Bowl touchdown tonight. And this offense is running away with this one. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A well, their defense did the job. They got the turnover on downs. Now what can the offense do as they take possession? They'll come out throwing here on first down. Under pressure, and down he goes in the end zone. So we are in the final minute now of the first half as this offense gets ready to take over. throw now on first down. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. And Oliver never giving up. He works his way to the QB for a loss of 12. So these two teams will head to the locker room as we hit halftime in Super Bowl 56. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just... So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated. Ready to go for the second half. Set to kick off. Thus far, this Super Bowl has looked less like a contest and more like a coronation. They call the second half. Let's get it right back out. Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. They're on 30-yard line. Oh. 
starting the third quarter with Cook. Get set to take over. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He's able to out muscle him here as he pulls it in. It'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. Well, I certainly don't want to pile on, but this defense has just not been up to the challenge in this game, and this continues as we see here. Coverage, not been very good. Soft in spots. There's an easy throw and catch for another first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Kyle Rudolph. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? So going for Jefferson down. And the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. What a game it's been for this duo. They remind me of a good comedy team. They know how to play off of each other so well. No matter how one riffs, the other's right there to pick them up, and they are straight. And he will score a touchdown on Vikings. A five-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Nice job of polishing off that drive, but all the credit there goes to that play prior. Yes, yeah, certainly does. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll look to throw. And that's complete to KJ Osborne. Playing the drive going for 14 and a first down. 34 yard line. Well, they obviously read man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what do you think. Mean by that? Broke yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and it curls back inside for the completion. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Cook. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. They'll set up to throw. So caught there by Osborne. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a third down conversion to 24 yards there. Nice play. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. At the tight end. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Second and two at the 30 yard line. That's the end of the third quarter. Of One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. And that'll be in. 
incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he's having a pick at the first down here before he goes down at the 26. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. On the ground, it's caught. continues so the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over Zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Offense. Now flags, and we're going to get a delay of game. Still first down. Cook following the penalty. Second and very short. Down at the 35-yard line. It's a gain of 15. Brings up second and inches. They run it again with Cole. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Running on first down is Cook, but he didn't find much there. Call it a gain of three, second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. First and, 10. and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with a bandit. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. And complete right side, the tight end Rudolph. To Kyle that was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well. The hope is to go ahead and put it on him so he can turn and get upfield and gain additional yardage. It just wasn't anywhere to go on that play. And he finds Cook. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. It's a nice job hitting him on the angle route there. Come out of the backfield, cutting sharply across the middle. And that's good timing between the quarterback and his receiver. Effective third down play to move the chains. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag. And he will score! Touchdown, Vikings! Punching it in from a yard away. 
That is Viking. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Instead, second down. It's now second and ten at the 25-yard line. ticketed for a baseball cap and a set of headphones for the next drive. He's been absolutely sensational. But one thing we've both learned about quarterbacks in this league, they often stay on the field longer than you expect. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Johnson was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And that is incomplete. Bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The Vikings on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and ten. This is Johnson. He's got it. And he's got this down to the 35. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game. And he's got a first down. Well, Barton, nothing but praise for me for this offense. They have been tremendous all night long. They knew what they had to do to unlock the defense. And let's face it, this has been a master class in offensive football that we've been here to witness. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. Seven yards to pick up there. To KJ Osborne. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Uh, give to Cook out of the gun. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. I know we're in the era of wide open football, a lot of spread formations, more space. But there's still a spot for power football. We just saw some of it right there. How about that run? Yeah, breaking the tackle. And, you know, late in this game, he wants the football in his hands. He's had a good one. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sank back at the 29. And Oliver able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one, we're going to be nice. So we might just list those out for him. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A big game there after going backwards, and that'll lead to a third down. The Vikings on third down. Can't be any better than a perfect 6-for-6. Six six. They're up against a third-and-one situation. And he's able to pick up He's brought down inside the five at the four. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That's way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. That's why they were on that set. Yeah, I see you trying to have a few minutes. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. Setting up the screen for Cook. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can you just kind of felt that. And they have done it. The Minnesota Vikings are the Super Bowl champions. 